Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My she dies. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> one more last call. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm good. Okay, so what can you tell us about your character? My character is, his name is Carlos Gutierrez, and he is, um, uh, he used to be in the army and is dealing with a lot of, uh, you could say some PTSD, um, and is offered this opportunity in which he can either, you know, be destroyed by his past or create a great future. Um, my character is called Joanne Collins. She is married to Luke Collins. You can probably guess that by the same second name. Um, and um, she is a vigilante, so she's uh, seeking revenge or retribution for something that happened to her. Uh, she experienced the loss of a family member, a son, and I think with um, with that occurring, apparently losing a child, it's definitely changed her vision of the world. And uh, she believes she's found her calling, which is to hurt people, <laughs> certain people, because she believes they uh, they hurt and killed her son. It's a fun calling. Yeah, and yeah. I'm the, the comedy character. Gives as back. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the, the fun levity. character. Okay. Yeah. You're the kind yeah. of relief. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. totally. Yeah. How do you feel? How do you guys feel about stepping into this new world or older, more established yeah. world? Is what it's a little daunting at first, but as you start to film and as you start to become a part of the process, uh, you just invite it with open arms. I mean, working with such a great cast and, and such a diverse cast. Uh, you're just non-stop learning, and uh, I, I, I feel just blessed every single you know second I'm on here. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I think one of the things about uh, joining the old world um, of heroes is that it, it's not quite the same as it was originally anyway, so there's an element of it that is new, and there's an element of it that you know we're all experiencing for the first time, even the old cast members. So um, although it feels daunting, it sort of feels like you've got a group of people and we're all fine finding out for ourselves. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the playing the opposite uh, Zachary as, as a husband and wife? Oh, thank God someone asked. It's hell. <laughs> what to do? I mean, he talks all the time. Like, you know. Um, tell yeah. about that one thing. Yeah. Tell about that one thing. Well, there is this one thing, but yeah. I'll tell you later. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't want to get anyone arrested. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. Uh, he is, um, sounds so weird, but he's tall, which makes me feel really good, because I get to feel like little for once, because uh, he's six foot four. Um, and um, he is, um, he's a great actor, so it's really wonderful to work with him. And he's done so much TV with Chuck that uh, he really knows the ropes. And we have such a complex relationship with our characters. And what I really enjoy is that he's very available for improvisation, and he's very available to find it in the moment. And I think with characters like this, you never really know how you're going to feel till you get on set and till you're doing it. So to have a partner that you can play with um, and, and you know make up things and try things and it feels safe, it is wonderful. So it's all right, you know, it'll do. Whatever's. <laughs> So it was like meeting you know the whole Comic Con crew at today you know as uh, you know we were just returning you know, it, it it's like a straight mean. adrenaline shot to my heart <laughs> man yeah <sighs> felt like Uma Comic Thurman Con. Pulp Fiction man uh, yeah it was it was intense you know uh, I kind of just tried to go with it as be as much as much as I could and I think the first thing we did as soon as we came here we went straight to the heroes like uh, yeah. yeah thing. I don't even know what to call it. I know. Experience. I'm like, yeah. I'm yeah. like exhibition. Yeah. Like, I'm like, someone called it a haul, and I was like, no, that's a bit big. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. They're thinking about traveling with it. Have you heard that? <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those uh, experiences where it just, it's just changing all the time, and you just kind of soak it in as it comes, and especially doing the panel not too long ago, looking at thousands of faces, and hoping you don't stutter and say your name would be El Grande for some reason as your superhero name. What the hell is that? Why did I say that? I know. Everybody's creating, at least it's not g g g Yeah, the other one from the press conference. Or Super Vagina. Yeah, that one was, that was, you can guess out of the cast who said that one. Yeah. But I was going to say, they made you pick superhero names, they make you pick powers? Did you guys pick your superhero powers? No. We did not have to pick powers. This is the question then. Yeah. What would be the power you would pick? Not for necessarily your character, but for yourself if you got superpowers. Um, I feel like um, 
So we get asked quite a lot what power we would pick. So um, and before I've said I would pick mind reading, and then I also said, which I think I came across really intelligent when I said my superpower that I would like is to be able to eat and not put on any weight. Um, uh, and so yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. A lot of people all the girls are nodding, and all the guys are like, whatever. Um, they have that already. Um, but I think. Um, I think I'm still mind reading. I, I think because I just think that it would just. I'm really interested in what people think, but I also would like to be able to turn it off because I think if I went on a date, I'd be like, "You disgusting!" Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I wouldn't want mind reading at all. No, because I know there's a lot of crazy people out there. Yeah. Uh, I I wanted to do uh, the power of space and time in the beginning. But now I've kind of changed it more towards the focus of the Flash, and uh, yeah, I feel like you know I was saying it over there. Einstein said it. I mean, you you faster the speed of light, then you kind of can alter you know space and time. So um, yeah, I would I would go with super speed.